this video we're going to use pig fat not only to cook the pork in but to also use later on as a fuel for our cooker that we're going to make up. So this is out of a pig, wild pig. It's a mixture of the inside belly fat and also some of the back fat. I'm going to use the back fat for burning and the inside belly fat for cooking. So what you want to do is you want to cut it up into really small squares, stick it in your pan, low heat on the fire. I've got some that's been cooking now for about an hour until it goes right down. Remove the lumps, you can actually eat them if you want to and then use that for your cooking and then later on for burning your stove. Right, we'll tear into it. The lower the temp, the better. Don't want a fat fire. I've got the salt, I think it's a tuna can, and I'm packing wood into it. Now the wood's a bit damp, but we'll put it on the fire now and sort of kiln dry it. I'm going to pack this in really tight. Once we've dried that wood on the fire and its uh, dampness is gone, we take it out again and we add our fat to it. And later on, that will be our little burner. This is looking good. Meat's got nice colour, looks ready. Looks good. Our rendered down fat. Good Tucker. We've got eggs on the menu today, and we've got some broccoli, and we've got some pork. Good chewing. Later on tonight, we'll try that burn out and see how it goes. The rain never came. It's supposed to, but it didn't. Not much you can probably see here. Right, we have the burner. Just got a flame on there now, she's starting to burn. The water's acting like a wick. The fat is acting like the wax of a candle, it's like a giant candle. My water's starting to boil, and I'm gonna make a second candle now. I've got a second little fire here burning. It's in a peach tin. This is acting as my candle, so I can see what I'm doing, it's my light. Can add some pasta to my hot water. Bloody rough burner, but it works. It's made me a cup of tea and it's cooked my pasta. And I'm just testing it now to see if it's cooked. And it's bang on, al dente. I've used about 400 grams of fat for the burner and another maybe 200 for the candle burning beside it. So two tins one's an old tuna tin and the other one's an old tin of peaches that I had. So utilizing the fat of the animal to cook in today for my pork this afternoon and then my evening meal is some um, pasta I've done all the cooking this evening without using any having to go and get any wood and this will burn for a long time it's not going to generate the heat that a normal fire does but it's a real lifesaver if it was raining out there it's not raining it was supposed to rain but it's not so I'm pleased about that but it's just a demonstration really show you how it works and it's cooked this sauce is made out of some peanut butter I had some fat, some cheese, some garlic. And here's a dog that catches all the meat, Po. Where have you been, mate? You go for a wee walk, did you? The rules are when you've got your dogs with you, you feed yourself first, and they watch you eat, and then you feed them afterwards. Keeps them in the order of things. 
Oh, I'm a taste good too, bro. Not for you. Such a good dog. That fire is still burning down there in that tin. It's been going for over an hour now. Check this out. One hour and 48 minutes and it's still burning. It's made two cups of tea, some pasta and the sauce, and it's still going. She's not going to go for too much longer. Anyway, if you like this sort of thing, you know, new ideas and ways of cooking your tucker outside in the great outdoors, subscribe to my channel because I've got plenty of other things I'll be showing you that I make up as I go along. It's a pig fat burner. The wood acts as a wick and the fat is the fuel for it to burn. Punch the like button if you enjoyed the clip and uh, that's about it from me. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. See you later. She's still going. She's still going, but I think she's just about ready to go out. Which is good. It's my bedtime. I like that. <laughs>